Okay, so in this video, we are going to learn a simple example of how to calculate ratio from the given numbers. Now, our problem statement here is in a class, there are 20 boys and 40 girls. What is the ratio of A, number of boys to the total number of students and B, number of girls to the total number of students. Now we know in example A and B, we know number of boys and number of girls. Number of boys is 20 and number of girls is 40. But we are not given the total number of students. And total number of students is pretty easy to find out. Just add 20 boys and 40 girls. So I will just do a quick mental calculation here. 20 plus 40 is 60. So we have total number of students is 60. Now let us proceed to calculate this ratio. And the other thing we are going to do is to interpret that ratio, which is more important. Finding a ratio is one thing and interpreting it is another. So let us look at example A, which says that we have to find out the ratio of number of boys to the total number of students. Now, the first quantity, the ratio of number of boys, that will become our numerator. Okay, so let us say ratio in this case is equal to um, number of boys is 20 and to the total number of students. So the other quantity which becomes our denominator is the total number of students which is 60. Number of boys 20 to the number of students 60. Now 20 by 60 is a ratio I can straight away say. But then we go a step further and what we do is we simplify this. We try to bring as much lower numbers as possible here. Now if we look at this numbers 20 and 60, I know that both of them can be divided by 20. So I divide both the numerator as well as the denominator by 20. So when we divide the numerator by 20, we get 1. And when we divide the numer uh, denominator by 60, we get 3. So we get a ratio of 1 by 3 or in the ratio form it is 1 is to 3. Now what does this mean 1 is to 3? What, what, what does this mean? It implies that there are one third boys in the total class. That is what it means in one way. Now how do I understand this one third? What does this one third mean? So this one third comes from this fraction here 1 by 3. So this is a fraction. Now let us try to see whether fractions can be helpful to understand the concept of ratio. So since it is 1 by 3, let me just make a small circle and we divide it into three equal parts. So what we are doing is we are simply constructing a fraction, visualizing this fraction over here. The, numer the denominator is the total number of parts into which the whole is divided and this is nothing but the part under consideration so 1 by 3 so we have to see 1 out of 3 parts so I am taking just this 1 part out of 3 parts okay so what does this mean this means that this fraction in this fraction this represents the number of boys and then this whole thing this entire circle all the 3 parts they represents the total number of students. So this is how we visualized the ratio using fractions, fractional representation. So from this we can say that this is one part out of three parts. So therefore it is one third. And therefore I can say that the number of boys are one third okay one third of the total number of students as is clear from this fraction now let us look at the example B and in B we have to find out the ratio of let me call it ratio of girls to the total number of students so let's let's just call it ratio 2 and let's call this as ratio 1 just the names we are giving so in this case we have 40 
40 is the number of girls which becomes the numerator and 60 is the number of boy uh, the total number of students so again i i want to simplify this as we did in our earlier case because we want to come up with smallest numbers possible so i divide both the numerator and denominator by 20 so 40 divided by 20 gives me 2 and 60 divided by 20 gives me 3 or this ratio can be represented as 2 is to 3 so the ratio of the number of girls to the number of students is 2 is to 3 or if I use this fraction here it simply means that the ratio of the girls or, or, or not ratio but the girls are two-third of the total number of students so we can also represent that as a fraction so we have three which is we need to divide this into three parts this circle into three parts and now we are considering two parts out of the three parts so what I can do is I can take these two okay so this is one part and this is other part okay this represents the girls and the entire thing total it represents the total number of students in fact what we could have done is this two parts this two remaining parts just by looking at this also because we know that there are twenty uh, there are how many one third of the boys then the remaining two parts in this case let's say from this one here this these are girls two by three so just by finding this we can even find out the number of girls so this is two by three or from this example we know that this part white colored part represents the girls which is two by three two thirds of the total number of students this part is the number of boys which is one third right so this is another way of representing ratio and how we use fractions to represent the ratios other important thing to note is if we add all these if we add this that is ratio 1 and ratio 2 it comes to 1 which is quite simple and which is which you can easily observe so 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 gives me 3 by 3 which is nothing but 1 so through this example we have learned couple of things first how do we calculate the ratio if we have some quantities so what we do is we the numerator is the first quantity that is the ratio of one quantity versus the ratio of another quantity the quantity with which we are comparing with which the reference it becomes the denominator and the quantity being compared becomes the numerator for example the number of boys and the number of girls they became numerators in our case whereas the total number of students is the quantity with on which the comparison is based so they become the denominators that is first lesson second lesson we always try to represent the ratios in their lowest form and that would help us to come up with simple numbers that was the second learning third learning from that was that we used fractions to represent the ratios as we saw in the both the examples okay we we use fractions okay that was the third learning and fourth learning is that if in scenarios of this type if we have you know if if we know one part of the ratio we can find out the other part just by using this fractional representation now of course this was a simplified example okay if you also have teachers in the class then this kind of becomes a bit trickier and you have to find two three ratios and so on but for this simplified example we just found out that if we have a simple example like this we can actually use the fractions and their visualization to help us understand what those ratios mean so see you in the next session